Every time I demonstrate luminosity masks in Photoshop on YouTube, people constantly bring up the fact that I'm using a third party plugin to create those luminosity masks. And you should not have to use a third party plugin to create a luminosity mask in Photoshop. Well, you don't have to use a third party plugin to create luminosity masks in Photoshop. I'm gonna show you how to do that today. I'm also gonna show you some free versions of those plugins that will be a huge time saver for those of you that wanna save a little bit of money. Okay, so here we are inside of Photoshop and before we jump in, I wanna just remind you that a luminosity mask is nothing more than a black and white version of your photo used as either a layer mask or a selection. And if you have an active selection, it functions like a stencil. So you can use that dark black and white version of your photo as a stencil. That way, whatever you're painting will go more into the highlights and less into the shadows. Or you can take that luminosity mask and apply it as a layer mask and that adjustment or that layer will be revealed more in those highlights and less in those shadows. So if we go over here to our layers tab, we have our layers tab, our paths tab and our channels tab. If I hold down control or command and click on the RGB channel, you're gonna see that we have marching ants pop up. That tells us that we have an active selection. Now, anytime you have an active selection, you can save that active selection as a new channel. So if we go down here and hit this button, this is the save current selection as a channel. We hit that button, we go to this alpha one, and you can see that this is a luminosity mask. This is a lights one luminosity mask. You can see that we still have an active selection. And if we wanted to, for example, make a more restrictive version of this, which would be a lights two luminosity mask, I would hold down all of our action keys. So control or command, control, shift, alt, and then I would click on it one more time. And you can see that our ants shrunk. We can save this as a new channel. And you can see Alpha 2 is now our Lights 2 luminosity mask. So that is how you create a luminosity mask. If I wanted to create a Darks 1 luminosity mask, I would go back to this Alpha 1 channel, and then I would hit Control or Command I. And you can see that that inverts it, hence the I, and this would become our Darks 1 luminosity mask. So this is how you create these luminosity masks. For example, if we wanted to use this alpha one channel for something, let's go ahead and hold down control and click on it, which loads it as an active selection. And now we'll go back to our layers tab. And let's just say that we want to create a brightness contrast adjustment layer with that darks one luminosity mask attached to it. I'll just go down to our adjustment layers, create a brightness contrast adjustment layer. And you can see that we have a brightness contrast adjustment layer with this as its active layer mask. So now when I brighten and add contrast, it's going to affect the darker tones and leave those brighter tones alone because this is its active layer mask. It's masking out those highlights. So this is how you create luminosity masks and you can totally do it without a panel, but you can see how it would become pretty time consuming, especially if you're someone like me that uses them for almost every layer uh, just about. So the panels are such a huge time saver that they're worth every penny. I own three of them and obviously not everybody has to do that. You go out and you pick one and it costs you 35 bucks and most of them you have free upgrades for life. So $35 balanced against what we spend for our lenses and our cameras, it's not that expensive. But if you are on a budget, there are free versions available out there. Let me show you what those look like. The first one and probably my favorite is going to be TK Luminosity Mask or Loom Mask. This is made by Tony Kuiper. He's the same person that comes up with TK Actions. And you can see it's an incredibly small, simple interface. And I like that because you can really have stuff very small, very compact. There's times where I'm tempted to use this rather than the full version, but you can see how it works. When I click on this, it brings up our little interface and we can cycle through and create our different luminosity masks. And you can see how fast they're generated and how quick and easy it is. It's way faster than going through, going into the channels tab, and it's free. So for example, we can create that same Dark Swan luminosity mask, grab a levels adjustment this time, and now we have a levels adjustment 
with a Dark Swan Luminosity mask on it. We can go here and do our same adjustments that we would want to do. You get the point. So this is this is TK Loom mask. Another option is Lumenzia Light. So Lumenzia Light is made by Greg Benz. He's the same person that creates Lumenzia. Lumenzia is probably the full version of it. Is probably my favorite of the premium panels simply because it's very simple. And you can see this one is very similarly laid out. You can create a lights one luminosity mask, or you can go and create start creating your darks luminosity masks. I do notice that this version of Lumenzia, the Lumenzia light, is not quite as fast. Um, it takes up a little bit more space, but I do like how it is still compact, so you can bring up your channels and hide some of the text and whatnot. But again, it's very simple. It's very easy. It does everything you need to do. We can grab our dark, dark Swan Luminosity mask and create a brightness contrast adjustment layer. So now we have a brightness contrast adjustment layer and then the Dark Swan Luminosity mask attached to it. Another option is the Easy Panel. Now the Easy Panel is from Jimmy McIntyre. Jimmy McIntyre is the creator of Raya Pro. Uh, Raya Pro is... It creates luminosity masks, but it does a whole bunch of other things. And he he, he has kind of a one-click solution type panel where uh, the panel is actually massive. There's a whole bunch of different panels within the panel. And you can create things like Orton effects and glows and frequency separations. Some of it I find useful. A lot of it I really don't find super useful simply because I prefer to do that stuff myself. But if you're someone that's looking for kind of a one-click solution for a lot of things, Raya Pro is good for that. The Easy Panel, you can create luminosity masks the same way, but it's a little bit more complex where you have to create the luminosity mask channels first. And you can see how slow it is. And then after you've created them, then you can quickly toggle through them because they're already created. So you can... For example, grab a Lights One Luminosity mask and either make a selection of it, apply it as a mask, and you can see that it doesn't have the same features like in TK or in Lumenzia where it has adjustment layers. These adjustment layers are not readily available here, but he does include a sharpen section, an Orton effect, autumn colors, dodge burn layer. So there are a couple things in here that are not in the others, but really the basic things that I would use the most often in a luminosity mask creation panel are not included in the easy panel. And for that reason, I don't really care for it. You'll notice that, for example, when I go into TK actions and I've created, let's say, a lights four, I can then choose what I want to do with it. I could save it. I can apply it as a layer mask. I can create a selection of it, or I can grab a hue saturation layer, a levels adjustment, a curves adjustment. It gives you some options and some really commonly used tools that you can then apply whatever you created in the panel, apply that as a layer mask or as a selection to one of those layers. So that's one of the really key functions of these luminosity mask creation tools is that you can quickly access both adjustment layers and create those luminosity masks or selections. That way it's really, really fast. So for example, if I was to just show you how fast it can be, I can be like, okay, I wanna create a curves adjustment layer with a mid-tones two luminosity mask attached to it. So I can just go, okay, I'm going to create a mid-tones two luminosity mask and what did I say, a curves adjustment layer. And so I've just done both of those steps. It does it for me, and boom, here it is. If I go to Lumenzia Light, I can say, okay, Light's 3 Luminosity Mask with a Curves Adjustment Layer attached to it. And it's going to give me that right there. So the moral of the story is, yes, you can totally create Luminosity Masks on your own without the use of a panel. But those panels out there are huge time savers, especially if you learn all the functions of the premium versions. Each version has its own kind of workflow associated with it. And once you learn that workflow, it speeds things up tremendously. And it's worth the money to invest in those often cases. But these free versions are a great way to kind of dip your toes in to the various panels that are out there and see if you can incorporate it into your workflow and see if it's going to work for you.
So hopefully this helps. Hopefully this has answered a question or two. Go ahead and leave questions in the comments below if you have them. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Take it easy, everybody.